one. We're back. We're here. A Toast to Life. This is episode finally 10. And with 10, we got one of the most hardworking dudes and most down-to-earth dudes that I have met in the last year since COVID to now. My boy, Caesar. Thank you for having me, bro. Yeah, so before we even get started, we're going to do the 10th episode of even being here on this podcast, on this channel. We're going to do it right, and we're going to do it also to celebrate my boy Caesar on a, his new place for Raw Body Works, which we'll tag him at the bottom. Yes, sir. Um, also, Appreciate got that. into vehicles, got into different <laughs> business ventures. No Woo-hoo. question. Had to. We'll talk about that. Everything to come, mm-hmm. but first, celebrate pretty good. A Put toast. This little weight. They a toast, toast to life. life. <laughs> get whatever you got. If you're watching this in the morning, when we put them out at 10 a.m., get your coffee, get your water, get your bang, get whatever your you got. Get your cafecito, with your bread. And then if you drink in the morning, drink that. <laughs> your mama's breakfast. <laughs> Ooh, like Bro, Keyless, game over. Come. That's the best breakfast. Game over, but right, toast, cheers. my boy. Ooh. To the dome. <sighs> Smooth. All right, we're out. Nah, I'm just kidding. <laughs> that was it. That's cool. Thank you, bro. Let's get started, you. bro. So, I just mentioned Raw Body Works, man. How'd you get to Raw Body Works? What made you get into, like, explain this. Explain to the people that are watching this, for those that don't know, what is and what is Raw Body Works? Raw Body Works, man, um, it was an idea that I had six mm-hmm. years ago. And yeah. I... Um, I graduated high school 2015. Um, two weeks later, I was right back to school. You know, a lot of people take the summer, a lot of people take a year, mm-hmm. then they go to college. For me, I literally it was two weeks, and then I was like, "All right, I'm tapping back in." Uh, I had a, I was a 4.0 student. You know, I was, I had the grades. I can go to any school. Yeah. But I was very naive about like college loans. I didn't know, you know, how how that worked. I, I wasn't too sure if. Um, you know, like how I would have to pay them. What what exactly went down? Because you would hear horror stories like, "Oh yeah, I have a hundred thousand dollars of debt and loans," and yeah. it's like, man, like I graduated with a big old degree, but I yeah. still owe them two hundred grand. Exactly, <laughs> you know, and Dang, yeah, um, yeah, yeah. I sh- it was like all these kids were like, "Yeah, I'm going to UC this, UC that," and. Me, it was like I'm. I'm just. I'm just a kid from South Central at the end of the day, and I was going to uh, Cathedral High School, right in L.A. Jeez. It's a, the, the private right school. In, you're, you're in the Meta Mata, right in the middle. Right in the middle. Right in the middle, heart of L.A. Yeah. You know, like that's Dude. a staple, bro. Like you look you, the field from the field, you see the downtown skyline, and you know, right below Dodger Stadium. You name it, bro. Like that was a spot, and um, I went there, and I went on a scholarship. You know, my uh, uh, half uh, half school, you know the the football thing. I was at first gonna do a football scholarship, but I couldn't. The freshman year, I just I, I couldn't do it. Like I just, you know, I was always like a chubby kid growing up, and I couldn't, you know, like you know. I mean, you guys understand. I mean, anybody who's watching who's an athlete knows what it's like to work out as an athlete, and that transition from being an eighth grader to going into high school is like, yeah. it's like a crazy transition, yeah. especially when you like. From our experiences, from my experience actually, from playing Cathedral, being a like just playing against a program in in soccer and everything, it's when you get to the level of a like there, it's 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 similar to like a this is you're living here for sports, or you're coming here for sports, right. you're a champion, we're winners here, right? We don't take losers we, in yeah. a sense. <laughs> no, you don't. Damn. Yeah, right. and and so I I didn't play the first year, so it was really just like academic scholarship type. Yeah. But I was like, you know, blessed to. Well, my mom was blessed not to pay like a bunch of crazy money yeah, for tuition because mm. it was it was a lot. But um, nonetheless, you know, I did end up playing my uh, sophomore, junior, senior. Year. Um, it was cool, man. It was a good experience. It was very humbling. You know, I think a lot of my classmates and a lot of my uh, ath- uh, athletic uh, friends, you know, that play th- football too or any sport, they realize, like, you get humbled, you yeah. know, because once you tap into, like, senior year and you start going to camps with other seniors from other schools and you start to realize, like, what college-level athletes are really, yeah. then you realize, like, okay, yeah, this is not for me. 
that's where I was at, you know. But I always wanted to do sports, whatever mm-hmm. it was, whether I was you a coach. You wanted to be involved in that area, right? Because I just I love the community. Mm-hmm. You know, I love the community it's as an athlete. Ambitious, the, yeah. They want to win, right? Whatever it takes. The the team, the team effort, whatever it is. Um, and I just I didn't I just didn't fit the part to be a, like a D one athlete, right? Yeah. I just that wasn't me. Damn. So what I did was, you know, I just stay. I always stay focused on my school. On my school shit, I was always on my grind. Um, I had AP classes and all that. So I was one of three three students on the whole football team. We we all won an award for uh, like having like great grades and being a, a basic scholar athlete. Mm-hmm. You know, you get the varsity letter, yeah, you yeah. get that scholar athlete patch. Even though I, I wasn't, think, <laughs> I think I still got mine. Too. I was at, as uh, funny as it sounds from being in in sports all of high school, basically. I had AP classes. I was sitting around with them. I was part of them, man. I yep. was like, all like my good friends that were in high school. I was in high school with. Like I, I don't shame them, and I appreciate them. And sometimes, like we conversate on here on IG and shit, mm-hmm. and it's just like, man, if I wasn't with you guys, I don't know how I would have passed. Right. You know, mm-hmm. and I think as a ambitious dude, even young, like young age. You don't. We don't get it until we see it now. But it's like we've always found our way. Right. You. No matter what. Like I'm a. I'm the best dude for, <laughs> for waiting to the last minute. I, I kid you not. Um, you procrastinate. I. Pro- I'm a big procrastinator. Yeah, bro. N- and now it's different. Like I rather prepare. Like how we're preparing for this and and all that. But at the end of the day, it's just. I tell my kids. I'm just like. Mm, I was one of those that waited to the last day, but. When I had to get done, it just had to get done, no right. matter what. Yeah, man. So, um, so that was that, right? And then I graduated, and at the time, I just said, you know what? Like, I gotta, I can't go to college because we can't afford it. I went right to it, you know. Like, I just went right to that idea that I was like, yeah. nah, I ain't going to college. And mind you, this is like a college prep school. Yeah. You know, they. They want you to get into school, right? Prepare you for it. Prepare you for it, right? And that's why you're taking these AP classes because that's pretty much college, mm-hmm. college classes type. But anyway, um, so I um, I ended up graduating 4.0 and all that without having a college to go to. Dang. Absolutely no college. And I said I did, but I didn't. You know, I said UCR. I think I said, well, I was like on a wait list or whatever, you know, but I was I'm not going. Like, yeah. I'm good off that. In, like, inside you, you already knew. Right, yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm going to get a job or something. Yeah. But thankfully, you know, I literally just Googled sports rehab, and boom, the school came up in uh, in North Hollywood. It was called uh, Southern California Health Institute, or short Sochi, mm-hmm. like Sochi, Russia. Mm-hmm. And it's crazy because that school was founded by some Russians. <laughs> so any, uh, anyway, so I went there, right? And then, um, mind you, I'm 18, Right. Everybody else is signing up is 25 and over. This is their second career, bro. Dang. Yeah. You were, you I was were, young. You were young blood and... Yeah, just right in it. Yeah. Everybody's like, what, what are you doing here, bro? And he's like, well, you should be in college. I'm like, nah, I'm good. I know what I'm doing. Yeah? Yeah. Dang. Yeah, that's what it was. So anyway, long story short, um, I, had the, um, I had the privilege to you know, attend that school. And what was dope is, uh, so they had a sports rehab program, mm-hmm. and then they had a massage program. But they um, they needed massage bodies, right? Because they didn't have enough for that curriculum or whatever that yeah. that, that term. Because yeah, it's yeah. nine months. It was nine months schooling. Dang. So they doubled me up. Yeah. So it would be oh. two hours of lecture. Yeah. And then two hours of massage. Oh. Shit. Yeah. Like let's say we were partners, yeah. right? One hour you massage me, and then you're learning that massage or that technique that day, right? And then we f- we flip. Yeah. And then I do it. Yeah. For those immature people that probably were like, oh, what? That's weird. Yeah. <laughs> Until you find out what raw body works what, is, what that is. Yeah. And, and even if, again, even if you don't go there and you go like anywhere else, for those, go ask the price. It's not, it ain't that weird, man. It, it, it works wonders when, one, it, you could just get hurt at work, gym. <laughs> just life and you, and you need it at some point and until you need that and that's kind of how that's basically how we met yep. I seen uh, my I'm going to shout out Paco uh, Perez Pac. from our second uh, episode 
he literally was posting him, and mm. I was my back was injured to the max. Hit on my guy, had a like, probably literally probably like two sessions, and it was just, that was it. Like that was a yep. the relationship. I remember that. Yep, that was a relationship because it's just like people and for the people that are, again the ones watching because we're always doing this for the ones that that watch. Right. Got to people. You got to be around people that think similar but are just hungry to want better, that are not just satisfied, that don't come here and, well, dude, I hate my job. Yep. Oh, that's why I'm here, but I'll do this for you. It's like, yep. no, I love what I do. There's still more that I can do, but this is how I'm going to do it. Either jump on the ride with me or, or don't, and that's right. literally how it happened. But anyways, my bad, enough bro. of that one. Nah, you're good, yeah. you're good. Yeah, enough of that one. But damn, you're a young blood in a area... A profession of just older people, right? Because this is everybody's second career. These yeah. type of schools, it's like ITT Tech and, and like Everest. When that was up, you know, yeah, yeah, and that was my first thing. I didn't even go to college. Yeah, but mm-hmm. it's cool because that's definitely what God had in plan for me, and mm-hmm. and that and we made it happen. Dang. So nine months later, uh, I was fortunate enough to uh, know someone who knew a chiropractor, and he took me in. Um, and that was in Arcadia. And I worked there for years, you know, four or five years. Yeah. And, you know, did my thing. And I learned a lot, you know. Um, I, there was a lot of chiropractic influence around me. So I learned basically a lot of, if not all of, what a chiropractor knows yeah, and, and does. Yeah. yeah. So from reading the MRI report, you know, to being able to see whether there's an injury that's nerve related or muscular and joint which are two very different things Dang. right so i ain't gonna give you too much sauce you gotta come with me and <laughs> you check that out you know and yeah. then we can talk about your injury but at the end of the day like it's just, it just it was really dope to um learn that you know because that was stuff that i wouldn't have learned in college ever yeah you know when i work on people whether it's nfl college nba college you know mob college whatever you got to that point well, here's the thing. Those guys get worked on by pretty much students, right? Yeah. Let me tell you why I say students. It's because all they know is, like, the enzymes. They know the, the all the, the DNA, or, you know, yeah. down yeah, to the T. Like, the very, like, I always say, like, the very political terms. Exactly, like political. Um, mm-hmm. And for me, I learned the applied knowledge, what actually mattered. And that's one of my, the biggest blessings that I learned. From working at that office, which, which is that applied knowledge, because I'm actually using what I actually need. Like, I'm pretty sure most of you, whatever you're studying, you're probably like, man, when am I ever going to use this shit? I'm never going to use this shit. That's like all high school. <laughs> literally, exactly. You know? And no, I'm streaming high school, finish high school, but. Right, but like when you get to college and then you're learning certain things, it's just like, man, why am I even learning this? I'm yeah. probably never going to use this. I ain't gonna learn. I ain't, why do I want to learn about the 1950s? 1950s. Exactly. Right. Like, the it, history. It's weird. Yeah, it's yeah. Just something that, some shit happened in Russia at 51. No shame, Paco. Paco, I know. Oh, yeah, history. yeah. His history major type. Teach me, bro. Teach me, bro. Hey, he's a GOAT, though. Let me tell you why. Because he was able to go to UCLA and get that degree. I remember. I remember. We had did a story on my Instagram when he got, when he showed me, he's like, bro, look, I got my degree. I'm like, damn. That's yeah. awesome. To say you you're you're a UCLA graduate, it's a huge blessing. Regardless, I, we all know his story, right? He talked about and, it and whatnot. And, but and if you don't know, go back to episode two because episode he two. says why and how he got there. Tap in. Like, hey man, it's about you, man. So yeah, you, so but so yeah, so going back to really what what we were talking about with me is uh, so mind you, I did I did that all those years, right? And it wasn't until recently, um, this year, 2021, where I took that leap of faith. 2020 was probably one of the hardest years, I think, for anybody, really, with the whole COVID in general, right? Because yeah. none of us expected this. None of us. From gener- from Gen Z to baby boomers, right? Whatever. Like, nobody ever expected this to happen. And nobody was ready. And nobody was ready. No, We had never pre- prepared for it. Um, so it, it, was, it was tough, man, because it was really... I've been wanting to do this, and I've been telling everybody. I've been wanting to create what Raw Body Reeks is now, and I've been talking about it for years, and I thought last year was going to be the year. So what, what... I'm sorry to cut you off. What made you call it Raw Body Works? Okay, yeah, we can talk about that. So growing up, 
um, in high, okay, again, going back to high school and cathedral and whatever, yeah. I was known as C Raw. That was like my name. That was like my nickname, C Raw, oh, okay. C E E R A W. Like for whatever reason, I got that name. <laughs> so I think it, I think it really originated from like C Rod because yeah. my name is Caesar Rodriguez. Yeah, you know like A Rod, C Rod. Yeah, and then like. I think at that time, like, like Tiger was, like, popping, and then, like, T-Raw, and then yeah. the, the homies were just like, hey, C-Raw, that sounds hard. And I'm like, oh, yeah. Like, that's like <laughs> Shoot it over, man. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so then yeah. Um, I kind of always kept that, like, like my homies were always like, hey, C-Raw, C-Raw, whatever. Um, so then when it came down to branding myself, because that's another important thing, whatever it is that you're doing with yourself, and I'm talking to you as a viewer, um, remember that branding is very powerful. It's extremely powerful. Just look at Apple, look at Google, you know, look at all those. Those are brands, right? If it was Steve Jobs Electronics, it would be whack. <laughs> For real. Yeah. Think about Apple. Apple's like, damn, that's hard. Yeah. Anything Apple, man, I have an Apple Pencil, bro. Apple Pencil. I have an Apple Pencil, Worth bro. Worth $1,000. <laughs> I was just looking at that at new least. iPhone today, and it was like... Fourteen hundred, other like, guy. Bro, I got look. I got two Apple products. You give me like my boy Apple product here. He probably has one in his pocket. You know, <laughs> and then if there was a camera, they'd probably be right there yeah. too. You get me? I you think com- they should be coming out with the no the question. Shout out Con- Canon right there. Anyway. Canon, hey man. Uh, one day, you know, we gonna get that sponsorship. Canon sponsorship. Day, you know, we we day, need that. Day. We'll get there. <laughs> again, when we're gonna grow this, we're gonna stay here. So we'll see what sky's the limit. But so branding. Yes, brand, very powerful. Brand yourself. Yes, brand yourself. So raw body works. Um, R double A W body works, and the raw comes from again from C raw, and then R double A W stands for rehabilitating and athletes well being. So let me tell. I'm gonna be honest. Say it one more time. Rehabilitating and athletes well being. <laughs> and let me let me just say this real quick. Um, Damn. I honestly wanted to call it. <laughs> I wanted to call it raw massage at first, and it was like no way, bro. <laughs> like. This sounds way too crazy, you know? <laughs> so then my license, it actually says license of massage and body works. So then I was like, raw body works. Oh, damn. That's that's kind of, you know, it's cool. Hard. It's cool, it, you know? It, 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 yeah. not, not not just to, like, hype you up or hype up the Hype the me movement. up, bro. I need that. I need that. It just <laughs> sounds... When, when I searched you up and I said raw body works, I'm like, damn, this... How it sounds is raw, like... They, wow. We're gonna get right to it. There's no ifs, buts, this or that. It's just we're getting to it, and it's just like, yeah, bro, that shit's hard. Yeah, thank you, bro. I appreciate that. That shit's hard, but with that brand name that you got and that movement name, I always call it movements because there's more to do. Right. I call it visions, but yeah, but, absolutely movements. But you literally create. And we're gonna jump right. You created something else. Oh, that, yeah. Around those lines. Right. What is that for the? I know oh, it, but the, I want I want the people to know how branding yourself, how things start to just it's right not, here. not come naturally, but it, it, it sticks. Right, right here, bro. It's right here. Ooh. You just see raw like that. That raw is my brand, you know. Ooh. So I started. You, you're talking about the car shit, right? Yeah. yeah. Okay. Jump right to it. <laughs> Jump right to it. So this came after, right? So now. So we took. So we'll, we're gonna lead it. We're gonna just jump right back. You take the leap of faith. Yes. Now, 2021, where where are you at now? Not only did I launch my Bodyworks Lounge, all new, San Demons, tap in with me, IG, RAAW Bodyworks. We'll tag it. We'll tag yeah. that. Um, not only did I start that, but I started Raw SRT. So, if anybody knows me, if you're watching this and you know me, who I am, you know that I've always spoken on whips. I've always spoken on... Hellcats, SRTs, because I was just a, like, I mean, that was just a street thing, you know. I'm from LA, and then like having the, the I'm gonna shout out my boy Steve-O, one of my biggest motivators. Um, you know, he was cutting my hair. I mean, I'm, I'm gonna tight burn him out, but he, we were both 13. He was cutting my hair. You know, you feel me? I'm not gonna Jeez. say where and when, what time. <laughs> but mind you, I remember him whip like having to get the bus and me meet him after school, and then him waiting for him to come off the bus. Right, and that was like we were 13, 14, right? Yeah, and then like three, four years went by, and then I remember him pulling up one day in a brand new this is when the SRTs, like the 392s, first came out. Like, like he pulled up in it, like I'm talking about 17, 18 years old, pulling up in that. I'm like, man, that's that's really fruit of your hard work, fruit of the fruit of your labor, yeah. you know. 
and and he's one of my biggest one of, was one of the first of my biggest motivators and I was like damn like maybe one day you know you feel me because yeah, sure. uh he was doing it for sure you know but you know like over time he just he learned the whole idea of like having a car like that and what it comes with yeah so it's that, a lot, bro. It's a lot. Yeah, it's a lot. And I mean, you've, you've had one. Yeah, you've had yeah, one. You had a Charger. You feel me? So you know what that's like. It's so For the ones that follow, we've I've had a regular V6. Mm-hmm. I've had me too. a V8 uh, mm-hmm. Challenger. Mm-hmm. And I upgraded to the, the Scap- V8 Scap, Scap Pack Patch. Charger mm-hmm. 392. Which is hard. I love and that whip. I became a dad and now I got a Ford F-150. There we are. As you... Four. As you should have, brother. As you should have, because <laughs> that's one of the things, man. But it, it, what people don't understand, it, there's a lot of reason behind cars, and um, um, we'll get to the finances part. But after you, yep. you, but keep on the what whole, you're saying about your boy Steve-O and how you got there and why, like your background to how you got to raw SRT. So it was one of the biggest motivators because I always had that in my mind too. Like I always wanted raw body works to be. Not only a, a a sports rehab place, but I wanted to have that barber sh- barber shop atmosphere, right? Which is like you walk in, and it's a vibe. Simon, right? Yeah. I mean, I'm, I don't know. What, uh, uh, you want to shout out your barber shop? I mean, I don't know. Greeno's barber shop, Come man. On. That's no my question. boy, Magic. You already know. That's love. You feel me? And and you you know, and everybody that knows, you have your barber shop, man. You have your barbershop, and when you walk in, it's a vibe. Yeah, it's really a vibe they create. You know, yeah, which is literally. from the music to the art on the wall to the people who work there, whatever. And it's crazy because my barber, shout out, and I, he's gonna watch this. He's actually put up like these videos and everything on there, and he's like supporting my boy. Like, how you think? Oh yeah, he's we the same um, way, so. at, at Raw Body Works. We I'm, I'm like I I told him like I put up other podcasts. We're not gonna mention them because this is a toast to life. You feel me? Uh, and a <laughs> toast to life. Yes, I look like cheers, cheers, my boy. Uh, yeah, man. Um, I put it up there. You know, we have a TV playing. Sometimes we got the Madden going. We got the Mario car going. It's it, a vibe. It's man. a vibe for sure, no question. And I, sometimes I have my boy on there. You know, I have him playing That's and love. watching the podcast, getting to hear his stories with his boys and, and other people, all the entrepreneurs. Um. So, long story short, that's how we, that's how we, that's how, that's the atmosphere that we're, that I'm trying to create, which is a barbershop atmosphere. So again, it all really roots from like everything I grew up with, uh, from the, from the whips to the, to the, um, the body works lounge that I have now. Um, it all just really came, it really came from my roots, even the name raw, you know, um, see raw growing up. Yeah, man. Um, so it's, it's really a blessing to be in this position. And just, it really, all it is is just taking a leap of faith. And we were talking about this earlier, you know, with your podcast, bro. Like, this is really a leap of faith. It's, it's crazy because, like, uh, I'll, I'll probably post a picture when we do the, the editing to the video, but we did the vision board. And for the longest time, man, I've had these conversations. Like, when you came mm-hmm. with Paco... With my with my other boys and, and brothers and it was these million dollar conversations that I was just like man and I've always said it I want to change the world because when I became more into fitness mm-hmm. and this random like dudes were that I know now and like hey man like your shit helps mm-hmm. or motivating this and this and I'm like man I'm just a regular dude just living my life trying to do more than what I need right. but for the better tomorrow. And it just turned into that. Uh, there has I have to do something because I started listening to podcasts and everything. It's like, man, I have these conversations. Maybe to not their extreme because everybody's like platform is different depending on how like they uh, they live their life. Mm-hmm. I would say. Mm-hmm. And it just when we I've always been uh, I would say like kind of denying of doing the vision board. I was like, ah, that shit don't work. If I have the vision in my head, it should go. On. It's the same thing. And literally this year, we like my girlfriend was just like, "We got let's do it, let's do it. I want to do it." Oh yeah. I was like, "All right, let's do it." So we walked down to Michael's across the street. Came back. She started. She went crazy. Started printing all these <laughs> ideas and stuff like that. 
Yeah. And I kid you not, we had put on a date like let's let's do one episode by the end of January, mm-hmm. and we have made it. I think by the end of January, bro, we were like two or three, like two episodes in. Wow. Like yeah. two, like two episodes in. Yep. Two or three, and I was just like, damn. Well, now let's who we're getting next. Who we're getting next, and it turned into like, all right, every week, boom, boom, like let's continue, let's let's keep this going. Now we're we're in March, we're in episode ten, and it's just like for those like you're always gonna have those people, and this is just no shots at anybody, but in whatever you do, when you're trying to do something positive to change your life and get bigger and get known and make a movement, mm-hmm. you'll have a lot of people that would literally support you by just saying it, but when they when it comes down to actually doing it, not a lot of people would do it. Oh, like and not. so, just to throw numbers out there, and again, no, I, to me, they're just numbers. But it's just like I have over a thousand subscribers on my on my IG, mm-hmm. but I, we have a hundred and eighteen subscribers on YouTube, which I love every single one of you guys that has done that to this day because you I'm know it's it, <laughs> <laughs> come on, my boy. But it, it, it gives a motivation like all right you guys are listening let's keep going maybe it's keep helping going. you like it helps me it's just like how we were just saying off camera people will support you until you get to the end result where everybody that don't doesn't know you will support you then those type of people that will supposedly know you will hop on but it's just like um where were you when we were just coming up you see brother it's a gamble yeah. You know, it's a gamble because people will be like, right now, right, you guys have, what, 100 subscribers, right? Let's round it, okay? Yeah. Okay. And it's like, if I promote them, man, I, and I rock with them now. Um, uh, we're going to take a little... Little break? Oh, yeah, a little little break. We'll come right commercial back. Break? Okay, Don't worry. We'll be back. We'll Don't step in. too far away. We'll be right back. Ready? <laughs> We're right back. Uh, we took a small little break to refill whatever we had. Or we had to reset. Um, we're talking really quick about the vision board. It's crazy, man, because the vision board that, like, how we said, we went we went to the store, we got it all and everything. I literally didn't believe in, believe in it to the full extent until things started happening. Like, the YouTube, we we're only supposed to have one video, and we ended up having... Five, and now we're at 10 we're supposed to plan for a house this year and literally not even half a year we're already going into it and it's just like literally when you put things out there and you say it and you write them down and you just take actions into it biggest thing take actions into it mm-hmm. shit becomes reality absolutely things become reality the movement becomes reality your dreams becomes reality you know what? You guys manifested it, and it I'm gonna tell you. I'm gonna tell you. Victory you, lap. It, let me tell you right now, bro. Um, for anybody that's watching too and that knows who I am, you guys know that I'm a master of manifestation. When I when I said this six years ago that I was gonna have this place that Raw Body Works and now is, you know, it's just I made it happen. It's there. It's there now. And now you can you can be there and you can rent a car. <laughs> so yeah, so we were just talking about this, huh? Yeah. The, we okay. Were. So um, we so raw SRT. What is that? You know, it's it's a it's a basically I I started a rental car company. Um, I invested my capital into two cars, uh, a Durango SRT, a white one, and a Jeep Cherokee SRT. So for those dads that. Ooh. Yeah, you know, you type, you still want to move <laughs> quick. Yeah, um, those are it right there. So tap yeah. in with me, raw again, raw. We'll, we'll tag them. R W A W S R T. Raw S R T. And you know, I do, I do broker other people's whips. So like, let's say you have an S R T or you have any, doesn't matter what car. It's just that's just the foundation. I just seen you guys had like a Rolls Royce on there. We got a Ghost. Um, we're that, gonna rent that out soon. Yeah. That's another channel. <laughs> hey, I don't know. Well, I'll figure that. out prices about hey, that later stimulus on. Stimulus check. You feel me? <laughs> Tap Stimmy, in, coming through. Tap, tap in with the Stimmy <laughs> Turner. You know, um, it's my boy, 1300 a day. I mean, 
I don't know if you want to really invest your stimmy in that, but uh, if you want to move that way, move that way. I mean, is it? The, but there is a market for that. So for any of you out there that want to take a leap of faith and begin a, a rental car company like that, obviously I went the extreme route and I went top of the move type. You, you know, jumped, you jumped a couple steps. I jumped a whole staircase, <laughs> you know. Yeah. Um, but yeah, yeah. this is like again, again, this is like years in the like just just masterminding. So talk about that that leap of faith. What what is it like for? Because from what I've seen on our viewers, it's a lot of people, twenty five and younger, eighteen and over, obviously, that are still trying to figure out that leap of faith. Like I I would say I took that leap of faith. In one moving out and starting mm. the, starting this movement, this channel. Right. But you took a, a different leap of faith in starting your movement, your place in San Dimas, and now like the cars. What do you feel, or what do you tell the people that what it took to take that leap of faith? It took a lot of faith. You know, it's literally in that leap of yeah. faith, right? It took a lot of a lot of faith and trusting trusting. And we were talking about this earlier, and I know you don't you would, like we don't want to bring religion into this. Because you want, definitely want to leave religion out of, you know, conversations because people <laughs> yeah. get, like, you know, yeah, heated it, about it, it, it and it's stuff. A, it's an iffy subject, I, but... I, I respect everything. Um, but one thing's for sure. No matter if you're, you're Catholic, Christian, Islam, whatever, whatever right? It is. Whatever it is that you are, there is a higher being for you. Because at the end of the day, when you're in despair, you look up for whatever reason. You never look down. You look up and you say... Whether you say God, whether you say Allah, whether you say whatever, you say, please help me. You ask for that. You ask for that Show help. Show me a sign. Show me a sign. You ask yeah. something, a think, higher being. I think for, uh, we're, until we, you know, we're, we have some things working up in, into this podcast, but us as men, um, it's always man, put another shot. Mm. We, we think we put another shot in there. Man, sponsored by soon, Ooh. pretty much. Ooh. This, is, what is this right here? Casamigos. Casamigos. Hey, Jalisco, tap in. You know, Charros. Puro Jalisco, papa. Ooh. That's right. <laughs> um, Come so. Your shit too. Ooh. Come on, bro. Let's yeah. Do that. Yeah, yeah, let's do it. Let's okay. do it. Let's do it. Top it off or what? Like right there? Nah, we're good. We're good. We got, right we got one more in there. Okay, cool. For sure. Hold on. Let me pour mine. Show me. I'm not, I don't really even drink, bro, to be honest. I used to smoke a lot, but now I'm chilling, you know? You feel me? Things change, bro. Things change. But how I said it since the first one, people do this, or people drink, one, to get messed up and have fun, make funny memories. Right. I do it to do this conversation to have these comfortable conversations because sometimes having those uncomfortable conversations and you have some sort of thing, alcohol and something in you and you're just comfortable with the person, you you get to have those uncomfortable conversations right. and you make them feel comfortable. Exactly. So for those, it toast to life on that one. Cheers, Cheers my, my boy. boy. Smooth to the dome. No chaser. <laughs> <laughs> I Jesus. always say that, bro. I know. I'm. I, I don't know, bro. I just don't. Um, I used to sip on Henny all the time, so you know how Hennessy is, bro. Hennessy is a different I'm ball a game. Where I'm, a, I'm an old dad now. I'm just kidding, but um, <laughs> no, I, bro. I, I really, I really rock with tequila. You know, um, like 1942 is my thing. You Ooh, know, you got it. Oh man, no, nah, that's yours. Oh no, nah. the glass of soul is a move, though, for sure. Um, Casa Amigos is the move. I like it. It's cool. Terramana, that is a oh, cheaper you, one, but that's a move too. Oh my boy, that's a move. He actually got me a Terramana. Remember that, that? It was so really quick. The first day he said, "Like, hey, we're gonna tap in, and basically we're gonna we're gonna work in some things together, which kind of like sponsored technically I'm a oh, sponsored yeah. athlete. Which right. I gotta get like really back into it. things. A lot of moving, but yes. he took that leap of faith with mm -hmm. me." And with no hesitation, we I had a brand new Terramana bottle that I said, "Hey, this for you." And, and you know when the whole and the people that know who I am, the Raw Body Works a sponsored athlete program or whatever. Um, and it's not even really like, oh, you got to be like a crazy athletic person. It's just really someone who's gonna best represent my brand. That's really what it was. And uh, Luis was obviously that person for me. You know where the way he moved, how he spoke on his platform. It's just that's that's what I wanted 
people to know Rob Body Works as. Appreciate that. Yeah, man. bro, that really. That's crazy. what it was. And that's what like that's what like the first time we met, even I think even the second time, it was just like I already like our energies just matched. It was crazy. It was, it, kinda, was it, it was like a weird crazy because when there's certain things that happen and it's just like I can have, you know, a gold chain. Right. And it's just like, bro, when we got together this you're worth a lot more than a gold chain, but I'm a, here you go. And at that point, like tequila to me and drinking is like even a gift, as small as it is, is worth a million dollars. Absolutely. Man, and, it, and it was that. Absolutely. But um, as far as like we're going back to like that leap of faith and everything. It as Having men, bro, as, as men, we're, we are afraid to show our, our emotions and our feelings and to even say that we believe in something. And it literally took for me to be vulnerable, to just say, hey, I believe in this. This is where I'm at mentally, emotionally. It, it's out there. I got nothing to hide. And I think as men, we're just afraid. We're afraid to let other people know that we can actually have feelings. Mm-hmm. Was that something for you before, like, taking that leap of faith? Was that, um, was it scary showing your vulnerability? Absolutely. To the to So, I went from, and for everybody watching, I mean, I, I assume most of you have some type of employment. It's very rare for people to have, be self-employed, you know? Yeah. Because there's nothing, there's no better feeling than either waking up Friday or staying up late Thursday to see that direct deposit hit your account. Yeah. There's no better feeling. Exactly. And I don't have that anymore. It's so it's you. literally on me. <laughs> like, you know, I'm the boss. You know? So it's like if I don't if I don't do shit all day, I don't make shit all day. Yeah. If I fuck around all day, I don't I'm nothing's coming into my account. For the for us, we know you. I'm I'm sure the people that, that mess around with you are are tapping into this podcast. But the ones that don't what what time do you start? What time do you sometimes and usually end? Because I see you and it's just like, bro, you're insane. You're, you're, you are literally crazy for doing it. But Right. So I have th- this whole thing. I started it a while back and it's like I would hashtag it on my story. I put grind unmatched, you know, um, and I say that humbly and you can when I say you is anybody that if you feel like you can match my grind, put it. Put grind don't match, you know. Ooh, new and, trend, grind don't match. You yeah. see how many people will tap into e- that exactly. one. Exactly, and and really what it is is I, uh, my boy, shout out, uh, he's another sponsor that I think, Carboholic. So and, yeah, bro, you know, he knows. I don't re- come on. I'm gonna be honest. Come on. I don't repost you because you just put me to shame, bro. <laughs> <laughs> but hey, man, your grind is insane. When you you and your channel, we're gonna put that one on there too. Yeah. It's insane, but he, yeah. So their their consistency is insane. Yeah. They're very consistent. Uh, when he, I say I they him, is him and his lady. I see him wake up like at four in the morning for cardio. I'm like, how? So okay, you ready, bro? For years, get it. For years, bro. Once a month, once a month. I'll be I'll be honest. Just to just to kind of show you guys the de- type of level of dedication that I have to my craft. Once a month, but I love to your clients exactly. Exactly. Love and dedication client. and dedication to his I client. would wake up at three in the morning to get ready to go and drive an hour pretty much yeah. to see this guy and his lady and then from there go and start my day in Arcadia and then work all day that is and then after that what time was that what time was that so I would leave my house by three, three? And then get there by four. Ooh. Work from four to six or four to seven, depending <sighs> on how many people I saw. Because it would be two or three usually. Jesus. And then from there, go to the office from nine to six. And then after that, do house calls all day still. After after getting out of my Jesus. nine to five. Shout out to all his clients, man. That, yeah, shout that out to all of you. Grinding, I love all of you. Grinding. Each and every one I, of you. I, I, I see you literally like in downtown and fucking oh, views. Man. Million dollar views and it is insane, but shout out to all like Carboholic and and everybody yes. out there. Uh, what tall guy reviews right? Tall guy car reviews. Ooh, that's my my boy, my boy Corey. It's, ra- it's so random because I know you like you work on him, and I was going to work and then I seen his like his Dodge and his and his Challenger Truck, was yeah. going. I was just like, 
oh, who is that? But it's just like, that guy's in grind and his channel is insane, bro. That's another individual that I look up to a lot. And again, that's a, that's a whole another platform and we'll tap into that another time. But the point is, that's another inspiration. So if you want to check him out too, shout out to him. Tall Guy Car Reviews, my boy Slim. You know, um, I was very persevering about that opportunity. When I, when I found out he moved to LA, yeah. I would email him three times a day. Just because I knew he would get flooded with emails. And yeah. then finally, he's like, man, my nigga, like, bro, I'm just going to tap it with you. Because it's like, yeah. at that point, it's like, you're bro, consistent. you're being, you're being very being, persevering. Yeah, yeah, so yeah. I'm like, there's a, there's a reason you're being persevering, you know? Yeah. And then sure enough, like, he put me on, you know, a couple of videos. That's my boy. Yeah, I seen that. Yeah. I seen that. Tap in. Yeah. Tap in on, on, on uh, Tall Car Reviews, right? Tall Guy Car Reviews. Tall Guy on Car YouTube. Reviews. Mm -hmm. on, and on Mr. His organic, YouTube. too. Ooh, Mr. Organic. I, his, I, that's his boy. They're both from Minnesota. I actually seen Mr. Organic on, uh, who was it? On Strain Cartel's Big Boy's channel. And, um, oh, really? Yeah, literally on his Rolls Royce, bro. Wow. His, uh, I, even on Cali Muscle, like, uh, oh, yeah, his yeah, big Rolls Royce, mm -hmm. like, just all out. I was like, who is Mr. Yep. Organic? But that's crazy. But that comes with your craft. Right. That comes with that leap of faith that you took to yep. get to that position yep. and that point. Right. A lot of us, me, myself included, we're afraid of that, bro. We're afraid of taking that leap of faith. We're afraid of being, of trying to find out who we really are and who, what we're really capable of. Right. And you're doing that now. Yeah. You're, you're really doing that now. So what was the difference between a couple of years ago to now? What, it, what had to change? I had to get out of my comfort zone. Ooh. And I think everybody does. You know, I think we're, we're honestly, we're all shy individuals. Yeah. You know, and I think that at the end of the day, it's it's hard to do this. It's hard to get on camera right now and talk like this and it not is. stutter. Yeah. And not like mess up your words. Feel comfortable. And feel comfortable. Yeah. So I think your platform is amazing, bro, because the fact that you're able to blend the podcast with the drinking is dope. Because if you think about it, that's what most people do we, to get comfortable socially. We've never that's been what, in this platform. Right. I've never been in this platform. Right. Like, people socially drink because that's how they get comfortable. Like, imagine you going out and, have, and having dinner, right, without drinks. It's kind of awkward, you yeah. know? <laughs> <laughs> it's like, bro, like, okay, like, we're yeah, just no, chilling, no eating. No but doubt. then you get a few drinks in you, and it's like the homegirl's turning up. The homeboy's lit, you know, and then everybody's lit. And everybody's, everybody's talking time, about everything. And everybody's talking about everything. So that, that's where we got into, like, uh, with my my mom and and just, you know, just a generation where drinking isn't ideal for everybody. Right. But it's how we just said it's the comfort of right. feeling with somebody. Like, me and you, we can have these million-dollar conversations but the reason, and the reason, and this is episode 10, and I'm putting it out there. reason why we put out the drinking is maybe it makes you want to drink at the end of the day or put whatever you in, in your system to feel this comfortable. Right. And I hope it makes you go with whoever you're around with day in and day out that's around your circle that you got to have these million-dollar conversations right. because you cannot duplicate them. Mm -mm. You cannot reciprocate them. You can try to have them again, but they're not the same. Like mm -hmm. we had a conversation out of, you cannot do it. Right. You cannot duplicate it. It's like it's like uh, one take, one take. Literally, thing. you know. That's why I, I love this because it's so organic. Like he said earlier, you know, it's, it's just it, we're just going with the flow. Like you hear what you hear. Yeah, literally. You, you, and, and whatever you comes see to what head, you see, is boom. There's no editing. There's no like, oh, hold on, we messed up. Let's kind of cut that out and then let's tap in. I, I don't know if if the. If my audience and the audience that is watching think like I'm a editing master, bro, <laughs> I am not. This is simple, but it's just you do your research, yes. you figure out what works for you for now, yeah, and we do it. But the biggest thing is putting out the content and putting out the conversations that's gonna help others. Biggest thing for me, maybe for you also, and I feel like it's the same. It's creating the movement to help somebody else. Absolutely. To help somebody else, to help somebody else figure like for you, figure out their body, take care of yourself, knowing that if you take care of yourself, it's gonna give you a better outlook on your life on a daily basis. Right. Because literally, when I came to you, 
Like, I could barely walk, and when I leave you, it's just like, I'm a new man. Right. Said and done. Yeah, and uh, to wrap up, really, what Raw Body Works is, man, it's... Um, I, it's something that I've developed in the last six years and it consists of so many different therapies whether it's massage uh, sports rehab chiropractic whatever you want to call it um, I've established this um, method that really corrects any individual it doesn't matter if you're an athlete it doesn't matter if you're a a barber that we talked about earlier. It doesn't matter if you're a nurse. It doesn't matter if you're a, you work in construction. It doesn't matter if you work in like pest control. control. You know, like <laughs> or um, coaching, whatever it is. It doesn't is, matter if you're a massage therapist. You know, yeah, like at the end of the day, sure. this method is really designed for everybody. For everybody. 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 You know, it doesn't matter what you do. You're gonna get right with what we do or what I do. Raw body works, and eventually, I want it to be something that multiple people practice. As therapists, you know. I, I, I really hope that, you know, we'll end this now because our second take that we're going to do this and we're going to run it back. <laughs> yeah, and this is going to be at, in, in San Dimas, California yes, sir. at my boy's place. Yes, sir. Raw um, Body Works. But I, what I really hope people take from this this episode is you you don't know your full potential until you really go out there and, you put, and you're vulnerable. And you take the leap of faith. You take the leap of faith. Whatever you... Your craft is if it's social media, if it's uh, it's sports medicine, medicine. if it's nursing, if it's in school, if it whatever it is, you don't know what it is, what you don't know what you're capable of until you actually just jump yourself in there Mm -hmm. and you know, just deep dive into the shallow waters. Yep, you have no idea either you sink or you swim, sink or swim. No question. I, I try to end it if I remember, but. For the young viewers, for your younger self, what kind of advice would you give them now that you're at this position? What kind of advice would you give them to, you know, yeah. looking Fo- forward to? Foster your passion. You know, definitely take your time. There's, I don't know how many times that I wish that I could go back to that building process. That building process is so beautiful because you make it your way. You know, like, yeah. you do it your way. It's your passion. So, I'm going to do this the way I want to. Yeah. Jesus. Mm-hmm. Foster Wait. your passion. Remember it. Um, literally, like I said, if you follow us on IG, I toast the live podcast on Instagram. Mm-hmm. I'll link it down below. Mm-hmm. If we get to 200 view, uh, subscribers... You will get whatever kind of bottle you want. That, that's on me. Damn. And that's, that's how giving up. I am. Damn. Oh my if we type, get, we gotta talk to the manager type, bro. I don't know about all that, bro. If, if we get, honestly, if we get to five hundred, you might just have a full day with me oh, in either man. in LA or San Diego. But when we get there, <laughs> that's a whole different podcast. But if we get there right before that, that's on me. But I'll put it out there. But shit, thank you, Caesar, for just spinning this. With, with everybody, Tap with the, with me, let's have a get, grab your gla- your glass, grab whatever you drink, big toast of life. Cheers, like, share, subscribe, and God we'll tap everybody. in next time. Have a good one. Appreciate you.